Gonna show you another gorgeous little traditional Spanish recipe today, which is tortalitas de camarones. Basically little pancakes, savory with prawns in the center, absolutely delicious. So we're gonna start off by making a very simple little batter with our flour, it goes into our bowl. We're also gonna add in a little bit of our paprika, which is gonna give it a nice little sort of smoky um, kick to the, to the pancakes. We're gonna make a little well in the center and then add in our eggs. So once your eggs are in there, it's just a case of bringing it together with the whisk until it's smooth. Obviously try not to overwork the mixture too much, so just bring that together. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. A little tip for you, I've got a little bit of water here on the side, so I'm just gonna add that in to help make it smooth. If your mixture is a little bit too wet, you could add in a little bit of extra flour. If it's too dry, a little tiny bit of that water will just help it. So we're looking for a consistency where it'll just sort of fall off the spoon. And we really wanna whisk it until it's nice and smooth without any lumps. Finally, just season with a little bit of salt. And that is our nice smooth batter, pretty much ready. Now just one more ingredient that we're gonna add in there is our prawns. So I've got some nice big juicy prawns today. Just taking the shell off those, you can buy them pre-shelled as well. And I'm just gonna chop them into little even sized pieces. So in go the prawns. Straight into our mixture. This stage I'm also gonna give the mixture some uh, extra color and a little bit of extra flavor by adding in some chopped parsley. Really will bring the whole thing to life. And a little bit of chopped spring onions. In that goes and just give it a final whisk. Careful not to overwork the mixture. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just pop a little bit of cling film on that and we're gonna pop it into the fridge for about 30 minutes just to rest. So my mixture's been in the fridge for about half an hour. All you wanna do at this stage is just give it a little stir up Make sure all the prawns and all those lovely parsley flavors are evenly mixed together. And I've got a pan that I've just popped on to sort of a low to medium heat. We're gonna add in our extra virgin olive oil from Don Carlos. And we're just gonna wait for that to just gently warm up. We don't want it too ferocious a heat, just a low medium temperature. And you'll see, as I wait for that to heat up, I've actually got some paper towel here ready before I start the process, because what I want to do is just gently cook them there. We'll strain them onto our paper towel and then serve them immediately. So you want to have all that ready in advance. Now, just making sure you scoop up an even amount of the prawns and batter mixture. Spoon that in. And we're going to cook them about two at a time. If you've got a slightly larger frying pan, you could possibly squeeze three in there, but you don't want to rush it, so just in goes that mixture. And they should take about 45 seconds to a minute on each side, so we'll just wait for those to start crisping up. Now, those are nearly getting there. As they start to crispen up, I'm just gonna get my little lemon garnish ready. So just cutting it in half, trim off the ends, and we're just gonna have a little wedge Set that up on the side of our plates, ready to go. And if I just have a little peek under here, you'll see they're simmering away perfectly in the olive oil. So gently slide your spatula under and then just in one motion, flip them over. And you can see they're starting to pop, puff up now. Same with the other one. Flip it over. And the beauty of that olive oil, it's got a really nice clean taste to it. So it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Now they really won't take long on that side, maybe only about 45 seconds or a minute. Just a case of sliding in again, and as you can see, like I said, straight onto your paper towel. And just pat them dry. Now it's a case of repeating that process for the rest of your batter until you've got them all ready, and then maybe just popping them into the oven quickly to reheat them. We're gonna serve these ones up immediately onto our plate just a little bit of lemon on the side. A really simple, quick little classical dish from Spain, tortellitas de camarones.